Hey, what's up, folks? This is Keith, and you're watching Barber's Auto Help. Today, I got my uh, 05 Honda Odyssey here, and it's got a pretty nasty rattle type buzz, sort of tinny kind of noise. And it's coming from the heat shield on the catalytic converter. Uh, I'm going to show you a temporary fix for that so that you don't have to necessarily go out and buy you a new catalytic converter right away. It may not be so temporary. We may do this, and you find out that you're fine with it and just leave it like that and let it go. So uh, let me take you down there, get you up underneath it, and give you some audio and some visual of uh, what the actual problem is, just to make sure it's the same thing you're having, uh, or same problem you're having with your vehicle. Okay, we're up underneath the vehicle here, and this is my catalytic converter. I've actually got you up underneath the engine looking upward. Uh, this is my exhaust pipe here, O2 sensor, and this is the heat shield that is on the catalytic converter, and you can, you can see it's loose. It actually broke away from where that bolt goes in there. And uh, I'm going to crank it up and let you listen to it and see what it sounds like. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to reposition you here. I'm going to put you over there towards the fans and have you facing this way so you can actually watch what I'm doing to this heat shield. Alright, so before I do that though, let me show you what I'm using here. I'm just using this uh, wire here. It's called me Mechanics Twine. And you can actually find this in the help section of your parts department. And we're going to wrap this around that heat shield and get it real taut. And uh, you may need some pliers to do this, some uh, angle die uh, cutters to uh, cut to length your, your wire here. So let's go ahead and do that. Right, let's go ahead and get us a good section of this this wire here. Oh, I guess the dog's getting attacked back there. Let's see, I'm going to start out with about two foot. It doesn't matter if you get too much to start out with. Let me go ahead and put you up in that little nook that I showed you. Okay. I think I got you at a good angle there so you can see what's going on. I'm just going to take this wire here and I'm going to run it behind the entire catalytic converter. I'm just give the catalytic converter a big hug. I'll wear you some safety glasses while you're doing this because uh, rust will fall and get in your eyeball. So. Don't be that person to get rust in your eyes. Kind of got to fish it in there. Kind of got it around that area there where it's busted. We're just going to twist it like that. I think you can kind of see what I got going on here. Um, I've got this wire completely wrapped around. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to see I got it twisted right there. I'm going to take my uh, pliers, grab hold of that, and just keep twisting it, twist it, and twist it, and twist it until it gets tighter and tighter. Make it tighter and tighter. Make sure it goes around the affected area there. And you might have to do this a couple times in different areas along the uh, the length of that catalytic converter. Um, depends on how bad it is. So you may have to do this three or four times to get it kind of secured. You see, I got all that excess right there. I'm gonna take my angle die, uh, my cutters. And I'm just gonna snip off the excess there. and clean. So let me show you on this flower pot what I'm doing here. It's really hard to get a good angle. I've got maybe a half a foot of distance between that radiator fan and the uh, catalytic converter. So just so you can actually see what's going on and get an idea, 
a better idea anyway. Just take and wrap the whole, we're pretending that this flower pot is the catalytic converter. Just take and wrap your twine around the whole catalytic converter like this, including the heat shields. And you're just going to take and continue to, to twist your mechanics twine. And maybe put your pliers on it. Just going to keep twisting it until it gets tighter and tighter. like that. Clip off the excess. And you may and you may have to do this two or three times along the length of the catalytic converter just to get a good uh, good tight connection between that heat shield and the cap. And there you go. And you might put another one up here, maybe even another a fourth one. But uh, you get the general idea. You're just taking that twine and instead of letting that heat shield be loose and flapping around on that catalytic converter, you're actually sticking it to the catalytic converter and you're not allowing it to move by doing this. So. All right, it's the moment of truth. Let me go ahead and crank it up and let's see if we fixed it. But there you go guys, uh, very simple, very cheap. Uh, I fixed uh, uh, quite a few vehicles that way with a uh, heat shield rattle and it lasts pretty a long time um you know it sure beats putting a 500 600 dollar catalytic converter on i think that twine it cost about three bucks four bucks something like that at the parts store in the help section so uh if this video helped you please give it a like uh please subscribe to my channel and if this video was extremely helpful to you you're welcome to to uh support the channel by clicking on the i card up on the upper right hand corner of your screen there I uh, do appreciate you guys watching and uh, stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.